Why, hello there everyone. So good to see you again. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ash, AKA Acts of Kindness, and this is our winter core island. Uh, er, at least it was. So about that, long story short, I just wasn't really feeling happy with how the island was coming out. It was hard to find motivation to play the game and Animal Crossing's like a comfort game for me and an escape from things I don't want to do. So to have the island be something I didn't want to do, that wasn't gonna fly. So I would like to formally reintroduce you to Cardigan, which is now becoming our Cottagecore Island. Guys, I am so excited about this. I've always wanted to do Cottagecore and I've never been able to or never had like an excuse to. So we're doing it, we're sending it. And as you can see, I've been hard at work, except by hard at work, I mean that this is literally the only build that I have done on the whole island. But that's because I didn't want to do too much of it without you guys. So that's what we're going to hop into today, actually. I'll do a quick little update, let you guys know what all has changed if you've seen this island before. And we'll get a little build knocked out today. So let's get right into it. I'll give you guys a quick walk through here as we walk this way. You can see I've got this cute little picnic and swinging bench set up. This was just kind of me dipping my toes into the whole cottage core aesthetic. I decided I'm gonna go with white and yellow flowers and that's gonna be our primary color scheme with some greens and such here and there, obviously. And I have been having so much fun. I'm really happy with how this came out again for probably like the millionth time. Anyways, we're like two minutes into the video and we haven't done anything really productive. So let's change that. Let's decide what we're going to do for our little build today. Um, I have no idea obviously, because would this be one of my videos if I entered it with a plan? Um, I kind of want to do the shopping district, like right here on the left side of our entrance, but I, I have no idea how I want this to look. So I think that we're just gonna send it. <laughs> That's kind of been my mindset with this island. I tried to plan the winter version of Cardigan, like do a little map and layout and everything, and I hated that. That was awful. We are literally just going to do what the sisterly villagers do in the start of this game and throw a stick, see where it lands, and that's where we're building things. That's the motto that we're entering this with. Whoa, that's crazy, right where our stick landed. <laughs> Even as like the standard nook's cranny where it is right now, I love this. I put some trees down just cause like, I'll want trees there anyway. You guys know how I roll, I love the trees. But like, I don't know, does this, this doesn't look very cottage core to you, does it? I think we're gonna have to fix that. Ooh, and we can put this little curtain thing here so we can walk through it and it kind of hides the fr like bright red front doors. You can't walk through this, can you? I thought you could walk through this, no! Mmm, okay, okay. Well, let's see, let's, let's just see, let's give it a shot. Here's the before and the after. Before, after, before, after. When in doubt, walk away and come back to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of path here cause I know I want that in front of the door anyways, regardless of what we decide. And let's consider I mapped out very like loosely where I think I want the Able Sisters to go in reference to Nook's Cranny. So I've got it sort of off centered and slightly to the front here. Hmm. Oh, the freaking bunny day balloons. <laughs> Anyways, I think that I really like the layout of our little Able Sisters area right here. I think I like the covered version more in terms of aesthetic, but like it's missing something. It needs a little... <gasps> I've got it. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, we all knew that I was going to put string lights there. Is anyone surprised? But... I think that this looks a lot better. I don't like the pillars. I think the pillars are too much. Let's keep it simple, but yeah, look at that. Doesn't it look so much better? And it'll be a bonus if I can keep that uh, drop-off box accessible. But look at that. Look at the little string lights. String lights are the quickest route to my heart. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> if there is an opportunity for string lights, string lights will be implemented. I can guarantee you guys that much. All right, I went and grabbed some cute little items that we're gonna use around this area. 
Okay, and I think the best place to start is just by throwing some flowers down, add a little bit more color to this area over here. So we're just gonna throw some of these down real quick. Um, all right, all right, that's cute. Looking cute so far. I like the symmetrical, like having the mums on both sides so far. I'm just gonna kind of throw some of these things here so that way I don't have some unnecessary flowers spreading around behind that I don't want. I wanna make sure there's different- <gasps> Oh, what if we do alternating colors? Like the centerpiece there, we've got yellow on one side and white on the other. So we're gonna flip it in front of Nook's Cranny where we have white on the left side and then yellow on the other. Guys, look at that, isn't that so precious? All right, all right. I'll move on, I'll stop gushing about symmetrical and asymmetrical flowers. Ooh, and I think I know exactly what I'm gonna put right here. So let's start with a little bit of a code, just so we have, you know, a little bit of action happening underneath this item here. And look at that. Now it's like someone just parked their scooter underneath the tree real quick while they run inside to check out the shops at Nook's Cranny. Able, see what we got in store here. All right, I like that. And while we're over on this side of Nook's, I think I also wanna add a little tree here just to fill in this gap a little bit because you can't really see much here behind the hardwood tree anyways. Ooh. All right, stick with me. I think I've got an idea here. What if we put a bamboo tree? We could do like a little stunted bamboo tree. So it's not full grown. It's not gonna be like jarring, but I think a little stunted one will look cute. So we'll put that there for now. And now that we've done that, let's move on to the other side, because I feel like the Abel sisters side of Nook's Cranny is feeling a little neglected over here. Oh, guys, I can't even have any creative input here. You know what we have to do. Every Abel sisters build has to have a cute little clothesline. Like, I don't make the rules. Come on. <laughs> it's like the law that every Abel sisters has to have a cute little clothes washing station, right? At least it's cardigan law, so we have to abide by the law. But anyways, we can't simply start decorating Able Sisters without the Able Sisters, so ta-da! And now it's raining, because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? All right, well, I think we're at least gonna try to get a little bit of building done before we have to time travel and get out of the rain. You know what? I think the paths makes the most sense because like we need to kind of have a layout of where we wanna walk and get through this area and then we can decorate around that. So we're gonna start there and I'll like speed this process up. It's boring, <laughs> um, but it is part of the build. So I wanted to leave it in as part of the process. One thing that I noticed over the course of doing this build is like, how peaceful 5 a.m. is. That's why the track that you're actually listening to in the background is just the 5 a.m. in-game music on repeat. Because I loved it so much as I was listening to it that I was like, you know what? We're just gonna put this in the video. Anyways, what you're actually seeing me do right now, like I'm kicking off the, uh, the full centerpieces of this path and I'm laying under them in-game path. And I'm doing that so that way it shows up on the map as like, oh hey, there's path here. And I had someone ask about this in the comments recently, so I wanted to show you, but yeah, the way to get paths to cover completely an in-game path is to not have any transparent pixels in it. Like the one here that I laid over the in-game path, it had transparent pixels in it, even if it has just one, it'll form to like the in-game path underneath it. And I wanted to point that out because like some people might not know that. And speaking of things people might not know, um, you're probably asking yourself why I'm dropping these apples randomly throughout our build. Uh, <laughs> that's just because if I don't physically put the apples down, I'll forget that past Ashley wanted to stunt those trees. It's very much like an out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And now we're just kind of working on, I wanted a little seating area here, so I expanded this path. I felt like this was an appropriate place to just have a little bench so you could look over the centerpiece of the shopping area. Um, and now you're just gonna see me mess around with like what I wanted to do in the background. Yeah, I just kind of spent some time playing around with what I wanted the backdrop of this bench to be. Um, in just a moment, you'll see me kind of settle on like, I put some glowing moss in the middle and we put some flowers around it. And as I was watching this back, I think I like this a lot more than what we actually settled on. Maybe I'll put like some simple fence, like simple fences behind it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. In hindsight, I'm not entirely sure that I like what we settled on right here because like, I don't know. I like the hedges on the wood there, but it just feels like it's too green. You know, like this area feels like it's got too much green going on now. 
I don't know, you guys might see this area change in some future videos. I think I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more. Oh, speaking of changes, we're actually going to drop this bunny day decoration up here. Bunny day decoration. Bunny garden decoration. I have a super cute idea in mind for this little guy, so we're gonna have to customize him to a different color, but I can't tell you guys about it yet. You're just gonna have to wait and see, but I promise it's worth it and super duper cute. Also, don't mind my random gift storage. This beach is, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this beach, like at all. For right now, that's where I'm, I'm wrapping all of my extra DIYs and I'll give them to people as I'm trading with them on Nookazon or I might even list them as like mystery bags, like just things to kind of trade on Nookazon um, because I'm a rare person who still actively uses Nookazon in 2024. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That beach, we're gonna ignore the beach for now. That'll be a future Ashley problem. Add that to the list, the ever-growing list of future Ashley problems. And it has officially started to rain, so we're just gonna skip ahead to the next. Let's let's try that again. Anyways, now that we're rolling back over here, um, kind of dropping some more flowers to fill in this area a little bit more, give it some more color, maybe make it feel a little bit less green. <laughs> we like the green, but we don't want it to be just green. Just green is boring. And so begins the saga of me trying to figure out what the heck we're going to do with this little area. I don't know, I thought I wanted the little small beach there at the front to be accessible. I mean, for now it needs to be accessible, but like, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure if I like the little pathway. Again, might tweak that area just a little bit um, in the future, so you guys might notice some changes over there. But yeah, like, along with not knowing what to do with the beach, I also don't know how to access the beach. But anyways, we've crafted a couple little things. I want to put a little wash tub here, but like, it needs something. <gasps> I need a puddle code. Stat! Stat! I knew this would happen as I was code shopping because I was kind of just like looking on Pinterest for some cute little cottage core codes. I knew that there would be something so glaringly obvious that I just missed. How can you even play Animal Crossing and not have a puddle code? Like, it's standard. It's like a tradition. <laughs> the same way that we do flower dances whenever we visit someone else's islands, everyone has to have a puddle code. But yeah, I dropped the little socks there. Isn't that super cute too? I, I always feel like I forget to use the dropped clothing items, especially the socks as like little decorations, but they're so cute. Speaking of using uh, like placed or dropped items as decorations, I'm also using uh, some custom codes that I searched for a little bit while we were puddle code shopping. So I had some cute little shirts and things to choose from as we do our little outline here because I want some aesthetic looking clothes. I want to showcase some clothes that are made by actual other creators too. I won't have the codes updated by the time this video goes out, I don't think, but I am working on it. Um, if there's any code in particular that you'd like whenever you see the video, please let me know. But yeah, you guys are now also seeing what I meant by <laughs> wanting to customize the little bunny decoration. Look at it! Look at their little friends! I've never used one of the umbrellas as like a box code before. I've seen people do it, but I've always been too scared to try to use them. And y'all, we're gonna have a lot of umbrella box codes on this island at this rate. Honestly, the little bunnies down there behind the bench might be one of my favorite parts of this whole build second to the uh, little clothes washing station, obviously, but. Oh, another code that I totally missed out on whenever I was originally shopping for codes is the little stones. Those were perfect. I had no idea what to do in that extra space by the bridge and those just worked out so well. So I'm glad it finally occurred to me to pick up some stone codes. In the meantime though, I guess aside from the build, I'm trying to think of some life updates to give you guys what has been going on. Um, Honestly, not much besides school and work at the moment. <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, I am in my final year of university and I am so close to graduating, but every day, I, I literally graduate this upcoming spring and every day it gets harder. Like, it sucks. <laughs> I'm ready to be like done with it, that's for sure. But yeah, it doesn't help that I'm also kind of getting a degree that I don't really want, which like sucks. I feel like I don't know anyone that's found themselves in this situation, but I like, whenever I started college, I was going for education. I thought I wanted to be a teacher. It's just, I don't know, I've realized it's not for me and I could go on, I could get on my soapbox about the state of education at the moment, but I'll spare you guys from that unless you are interested in hearing about that, but yeah, it just sucks that it's not the same job now that it was whenever I signed up to study for it five years ago. But 
it is what it is. <laughs> Gonna have a degree anyways, so that's absolutely nothing to complain about, am I right? Um, excuse me, Miss Ma'am. It looks like she has a thought bubble. Let's go talk to her. Cause like Coco just moved into this island. She should, this should not be a move out thought bubble. Oh no, what have I done? I absolutely love Skye, but she's not, oh, she's not on the, like, she doesn't fit the vibe that we're going for now. I, all right, we're going to let her go, but I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> I'm going to complain about it throughout this build. Basically, after I told her she could move out, she decided she was going to become a permanent feature in this video as we continue to build and she's like constantly just hanging out which is good like i'm gonna miss her a whole lot she was one of my favorites on cardigan for the moment and i am like watching back this video as i was editing footage it made me really sad to like watch her move out again but it's all right it'll be worth it that means we'll have a villager hunt up soon at least which is what i was really excited for it's been a long time since i've got to go villager hunting just because like i've been focusing on tearing down the island and getting started with the new theme. So yeah, really looking forward to the future villager hunts and stay tuned for that too. Um, I haven't totally decided what villagers I want to have as permanent residents on this version of Cardigan yet. So if there's any cute cottagecore dreamies that you think uh, would fit the vibe for Cardigan, let me know. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the next video, I think. Kind of like, I don't want to plan per se, but I do want to like mood board. You know, that seems like fun. I want to capture the vibe for this island without planning out where I want builds to go and what I want to do and where it's going to go. Because I like being able to just have that creative freedom, like, to just do it whenever I want to. You know, I don't know if that makes much sense, but I want to have the freedom to just transform the island how I see fit. I don't want to be confined to, like, a pre-planned layout and things. <laughs> That might work for some people, but I've learned it does not work well for me. But yeah, this little picnic area, I am very happy with the like little custom codes and how we eventually set up this cute little picnic table. Like, I do really like that. I've seen a lot of people use this wooden table and wooden bench combo, and I've never really taken advantage of it. And I feel like I've missed out on a lot. Those little placemats with the customization are so cute. Um, and especially for this, like, natural theme that we've got going on. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> the outdoor display here at Able Sisters is another one that you guys will see change up. We end up settling on, um, two dresses and two sweaters. One that's more yellow and one that's more green, kind of of each for a little bit of, like, symmetry, almost. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna move all of this around. Honestly, I could just cut this out. We'll see what future Ashley decides. <laughs> Oh, and as I was going to my house to get more items, I saw that Sky sent me a message. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna miss her. I already miss her. Who am I kidding? I'm recording this in the future. I still miss her. <laughs> I can confirm that I still miss her. But anyways, here's one of the aforementioned changes um, that happened over here to this little display area. I wanted to use the little sewing machine because I did something sort of like that on our first shopping district build. Um, which was very cute, and I really liked that. So, honestly, oh my gosh, guys, the shopping area was the first one that we did on the winter version of Cardigan, and now it's the first area that we're doing on the spring version of Cardigan. Oh, it kind of feels like we've come full circle, because I remember really saying that I wasn't super duper happy with how the shopping district came out, because I jumped into it too early, and I didn't have a whole lot of items to use for it, so it feels very appropriate that it's the first one to get some TLC on the new version of this island. Yeah, see, so that's what I meant with like the, we've got a yellow sweater and a green dress on one side and a green sweater and a yellow dress on the other. I say that like anyone's going to put that much thought into when they walk on this island. They're gonna be like, wow, look at how well she coordinated the colors of the clothes outside her able sister. <laughs> I can dream, okay? I also really thought that I liked the symmetry of the checkout counters in the front, but I just couldn't, we cannot cover up our cute clothes washing area. I can't, I can't, I can't. 
We also play around a little bit here with what items we actually want to put on the table. I figured since apples is our native fruit, it'd be kind of cute to have the smoothie there. But I decided ultimately the afternoon tea set, like that little stand, is just so perfect. Like, look at that. Tell me that's not the cutest, sweetest little picnic area you've ever seen. Okay, maybe not ever seen. Maybe I'm hyping myself up a little bit too much, but... Oh, um, these weeds? These weeds were out to get me. All I wanted was the cute clover weeds. And I don't know how many times I actually put down a new weed, but it felt like forever. I was exhausted. I was so tired of seeing uh, the different ones. Because I got the flat green ones so many times. <laughs> Even though the flat green ones are my favorite version of the spring weeds, in this one particular case, I just wanted the clover. That was all I wanted. <laughs> and it was so determined not to give it to me. I also changed up the coat underneath here. I felt like with the little dirt path, it kind of felt like that was a bike parking spot. Like it was supposed to be a spot for a little scooter or a little bike to be. Which I ultimately like a lot more. And again, I just can't help but think every time I come down to this beach that like, I have no idea what to do here. I don't know if I should leave it accessible, if it should just be inaccessible, like, I don't know. I grabbed the natural garden chair from that beach though, because I wanted to see if maybe it'd be cute to have a little chair right there by the sewing machine, but I decided that I ultimately like it a lot more when it's clear and accessible. So that's what we settled on. I'm also so sorry if you guys keep seeing weird cuts. There were so many bunny day balloons. Because I time traveled forward to be in the actual spring whenever the colors were brighter, that also coincided with bunny day. So I am very, very sorry about that. But anyways, guys, I'm just gonna make a couple final edits, do some time traveling to grow some trees, and we'll be right back for the final reveal. And that is going to be it, guys. <laughs> I am so, 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 so excited to continue to do the rest of the island in this cute cottage core theme. If the rest of the island looks anything like this looks, we are in for a huge treat. I am going to adore this island. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today. I really appreciate you guys sticking out, especially with my, uh, <laughs> very very inconsistent upload schedule but i just want to let you know i appreciate every single one of you and if you enjoyed this please be sure to like comment subscribe all the youtube things and i will see you guys in the next video bye